Spencer Hoyts. I'm the uh, Daily Operations Director here at Mexico Caravan Ministries. Um, I have been involved with Caravan for almost, almost about 10 years now. Um, it started actually maybe a little bit, no, almost 10 years. Yeah. So my church first started coming down here back in 2010 and I was on that first group, um, that came down from my church. Uh, there was eight of us. Um, and so, uh, from there, basically there was a pastor that was really starting to get us on the, the trend of, of missions. What does it matter? How can our church body be a part of it? And so, um, really too, caravan was, uh, helpful in, in continue to spur that on in the youth, but then also in leaders and adults that came down, um, with us. And so I went, um, that would have been my, um, the year after my sophomore and my junior year, I came to caravan as a grupo. And then after my senior year, I actually came to caravan as an intern, um, and ended up doing a full uh, gap year with our intern program. So um, I started out with three months of the summer and then ended up uh, extending it um, to six and then okay. the full year. So, yeah, you know, God worked on my heart and decided that uh, there's a lot more that I wanted to learn during that time. So funny how that worked. How did you decide to do the internship at that age? Um, yeah, uh, you know, I want to have a super righteous answer, um, to be honest, but, uh, and I think that's kind of why that process of, I went from three, six to 12 was just God working on my heart and, and, um, and me going from knowing that like I needed to involve my faith more and knowing that I needed to like be active in it and um and serve the lord but also still having kind of pride having my own plan that i wanted to do and i had good plans of you know college sports and college and you know all these things and um and so i went into that first three months with like i'll serve you lord and then i'm gonna go and do my own thing and then uh, towards the end of that, you know, three months, God really got a hold of my heart and was kind of like, no, like, that's not really what I want from this. Like, I want you to be committed to me um, and, and take steps in obedience. It wasn't necessarily I was going to the mission field, but there was just this, this sense that there was parts of my life that I wasn't relinquishing control to him. And so um, uh, over the course, I decided to extend to that six month and I was still battling with that, like, I had given over more, but not quite everything. Um, and so then at the end, that's really, and then I extended again, and that's really kind of where um, kind of the freedom from, from self, from what I wanted to do came about, you know? And so that whole process, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, can, I can definitely see, yeah, God working those different stages. I'm like, no, like, good job giving it there, but uh -huh. not how faith works. You don't do it in increments. So. Right. You're all in. That's cool. And now you're you're back as yeah. the operations director. Really exciting. Yeah. Pretty cool. Have you been uh, back in that role with Caravan? Yeah. Um, so that whole time period, then after I came, like I've come back with my church, or I've led groups, mm -hmm. and um, so then that kind of allowed me to still be around Caravan and know it. And so I want to say. Oh man, now this timeline's getting messed up. It was probably like uh, three years ago, maybe four years ago. They maybe three. The the board reached out and was kind of like, "Hey, would you?" Uh, well, actually, Eddie did the other director that we're transitioning with, and asked me and my wife if we'd be interested in taking over. And so the process has been almost three years, but we've been on the ground here. Um, in Mexico uh, for just over a year now. Okay. Cool. And I mean, we've talked to you when we were there this summer, but absolutely crazy time to be transitioning, but it shows God's good and um, yeah. open doors and just allowed really cool opportunities for, for both of you uh, oh, yeah. this season. If you had to, if, if someone didn't know at all and you had to kind of summarize what the mission 
of Caravan Days. What what is Caravan all about? You know, Caravan really like our heart is to um, just share, encourage, and you know, engage the church and engage these church groups that come with us um, in God's mission for the whole world to know the gospel. And and so that looks differently for each and every person. We completely realize that, but it's helping people um, to opening up the picture from what is so small to the grand scale of what the Lord has. And that, um, you know, how, how do we as, as the church body, as individuals within it, how do we fit? How do we fit within there? What do we do? How do we participate? You know, whether it's staying at home or going overseas full time. Yeah. Our students are still talking about how a lot of the teachings were taken from the John Piper quote, you know, go second mm -hmm. and it was really cool on our way home this summer. The team pretty much said they're like, Hey, let's just all agree that disobey option is not an option. <laughs> that's what are we gonna do as a group? It's like, hey, that's good. Like, man, if that's what you guys got out of a week down here that's huge and be able to they didn't say what can we what can we do with that um so what is the what does the internship look like what uh yeah what is the internship with care yeah so um kind of like I, i've kind of even outlined with my own story of being an intern is that you can you uh commit to either three uh, six or, or 12 months um, working here at MCM. Um, and so the, the glorious part is what a lot of the, the groupos, the people that come down see is the summer um, where we, um, Cassidy and I and, and the directors and full-time staff really train the interns in how to build the houses, build the structures. And then they in turn We'll teach um, the, the groups week to week on how to do that. It sounds super daunting, but they figure it out, you know? And so um, we have skill, uh, you know, stuff in place to, be able to help them with that. And so that's like the main role is really that interaction with the groups during the summer is um, loving on them, encouraging them, just, you know, having those conversations um, that a lot of your students probably had with our interns. And so that's the most obvious part. Um, but then within that too, um, our program, our intern program really seeks to uh, challenge um, interns, challenge those that have just come out of high school, 18 to like the 23 range um, on, on engaging with your faith. Um, you know, what are, what are you, doing with your faith, you know, making your faith your own and, um, and walking in obedience. Now, obviously we, um, especially in the summer, we, our main core thing is, is talking about missions and really with the groups, cause we only have that weak platform with the groups. Um, but in general, we seek to help the interns to, to discover what does walking in obedience with the Lord look like daily devotions, you know, trying to get that consistent. Um, in the fall and spring, things change to being more discipleship, where we um, meet with interns, we we being Cassidy and I, um, my wife, and so we'll um, meet with them. We're actually just started today um, a class about Ephesians, and so we're going, you know, step, step, step by step through that and, and working through that, and and so working on biblical knowledge um, and and just kind of trying to build on some of those basics there um, with the premise of walking in obedience with the Lord. And is that walking in obedience at home um, with a vocation um, at home, but still knowing, obviously, from the teaching that missions is important and how, what play do you, how do you play into that? But then also, too, for those that... Um, are going overseas, what does it look like to walk in that obedience? So that's really a cool opportunity. And having known some of the interns over the last few years, it's been fun to hear. You know, it seems like maybe, you know, obviously each group kind of has its own flavor because it's different. Okay. You know, oh. Being able to, you know, to even, you know, take classes from, from you and the staff, get speakers to come in, you know, work with Radius. And there's all sorts of things that. That sounded like incredible opportunities. Mm -hmm. Students, to, yeah, like you said, to understand what is obedience like, and 
where does missions fit into that? So it's not really a if missions fits into my life, it's where missions fit. Right, right. I want to be part of it. Um, what do you, I guess, like, what do you look for in an intern that's applying to care? I'm kind of a goofy question, but what, what are some of those qualifications? Whether, you know, there's some that are obviously probably a little bit more restrictive or some that are a little more open, but what does that kind of look like? I mean, the primarily we're looking some, for somebody who's willing to serve and somebody who is willing to um, to step out in faith and discover, you know, what does God have for my life? We're not asking for people to come with their life figured out. Um, we're not coming. We're not asking for people um, to come. When I say life figured out, I mean life plans, but then also like life struggles and baggage. Um, we have interns that come with all sorts of different struggles, and um, and we we walk alongside them. You know, that's part of it. A lot of these um, students have never been outside of the house because they've recently graduated, and so it's it's learning what does it look like to live on my own? What does it look like to take responsibility for myself? and my faith, like I said earlier, and, and those sort of things. And so, um, yeah, there's there's really no formula that we're looking for, just someone willing to um, kind of just be molded by Christ. Yeah, oh, that's wonderful. I mean, the handful that I've known, it seems like there's some that come maybe after high school, there's some that come after college, there's some that come during college. I, right, I just, yeah. I know talking to, to several of them, it's been cool to hear their stories of, yeah, there's not really a set, you know, time that they do it. It's just like no, definitely not. I think we have one who did two years. They have their associates, and they're here. And we've had some, yeah, that have done a year or none. You know, all of the above. Especially yeah. nowadays with how COVID has just changed everybody's life and schedule, it's even right. all over the place. Um, is there a cost to be an intern at Canada? Yeah, um, so we there's a um, a monthly fee that goes into it that just kind of helps to cover, you know, life living at the dorms, whether that's um, uh, utilities, you know, or um, there's some activities and different stuff that we provide that some of that helps to go to and and just general um, administrative stuff, and so. Um, we just kind of updated everything, and so uh, I'm I'm kind of blanking on the numbers <laughs> that we have. Uh, I want to say it's like somewhere in the 400, 450 a month range. And if you, I know the year. The year comes out of what you need um, is is roughly seven thousand dollars for a year. How that breaks down. <laughs> Um, we have a full sheet of that, so if people are interested, it's documented. <laughs> Perfect. That's the way to do it. Yeah. And it seems like the, the interns that go to Caribbean afterwards, they really go on to do a wide variety of things. Oh, yeah. They all seem to have kind of a ministry or mission focus of what they do. So I like what you said about you know, spending that time to equip students be able to, to take ministry and faith and missions into every area of life, whatever they can do afterward, which is really cool, a really special opportunity for that. Uh, what does the uh, application process or anything like that look like, or where can people find out some more information? Yeah, so all of the information is just on our website. Um, and uh, there's a little tab that just says um, right there on the top. And so you guys can go to that too. I'm pretty sure we have um, some links on our Instagram um, okay. as well. We have like a link tree that goes to all of that sort of stuff. On um, It's just Mexico Caravan Ministries on, on Instagram. And so we post stuff there as well. Um, but uh, yeah, so anything that we find there. So the process basically is the application is online as well. And so they'll fill that out. Um, I'll get all that information and um, based on when they're applying for, then I uh, start to reach out to the references um, that are on there and just kind of chat, see, you know, who they are, what the references have to say about them um, and all of that. And um, depending on the time of the season, that can sometimes take longer, shorter, and also is very dependent on 
how quickly or not quickly references get back to me. I'm still trying to get a hold of references for some people. It's been like three weeks. Oh my God. It's like, like trying to hit them up. So, well, um, you know, just so, so if you don't hear for a long time, it might not be my fault. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, but uh, yeah. And then once that process is kind of done, then I, um, I circle back with the, um, uh, person applying in, um, you know, say whatever happens, yes, no, you know, I haven't said no yet, but I've only been here a year, so. <laughs> well, it's just such a cool opportunity to get someone, like you said, to get some out of the house, mm -hmm. and give them out of the country for maybe the first time. Like, yeah. said, hey, I'm in a new culture that I don't know, and don't really know the language and have to pick that up in order to you know, interact and get around but a really wonderful opportunity for people to learn a little bit more about what faith and missions looks like and how to, mm -hmm. how to talk to God in a, in a new and exciting way um, it's impacted our youth group just having served twice with care uh, I don't know how clear it is but behind me um, there's a post it's the, the fellowship of the unashamed and that was one of the speakers mm -hmm. that served gave this this paper and it's just like this really incredible statement of, of faith uh, in our youth group brought that back and really has rallied around it that's really neat this this year's group um has really stuck with how do we go or how do we send or who's going i think the question for them is more which one of us are going and how are the rest going to support it? wow that's really um, cool that's what seniors in high school are doing they're going to be unstoppable that's absolutely incredible that is they've even talked about if someone has either caravan or some sort of internship afterwards like okay how can the rest of us financially support that time to go mm -hmm. that? i'm like whoa you guys that's wild <laughs> yeah you don't hear that all the time that's pretty so, neat uh, and a lot of that was just interactions with with the caravan staff and, the teams, and i think there's some recognition of faith in life is bigger than my community and the same god in mill creek up where we are is the same god down in mexico and there's people in between that need to hear about them and, and need to be reached yeah is there anything else that would be that you've wanted to, to share to students that may be interested or anything else from your experience kind of as a as a wrap-up you shared a lot of great stuff but if it's not really that's totally fine <laughs> yeah i mean all that all around to say you know we would really love to have um, some more deeper connection with your guys' youth group and your church by being able to have um, some interns come down um, as well. And, and for the summer, we definitely have availability. Um, we're looking at only two people right now. So we're, we're in need. I shouldn't say we would welcome. We're in need, really, So um, for that because um, we're expecting a pretty – um full summer more so and so we're wanting anywhere from 12 to 14 interns so we're short quite a few so far so you know if you're on the edge we'll definitely apply and just because you apply doesn't mean that it's the end all and you're you're stuck to it it's just one step um in it and if it ends up not being um you know the walk to go down then that's perfectly fine um but just stepping out in that to begin with is great Hey, that's wonderful. I like that. Just, just take a step out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just take a step of faith at some point. Yeah. Cool. Well, Spencer, I really appreciate it. Uh, know that our church uh, is behind you and behind Caravan. We'll be lifting you guys up with especially the need of interns for the summer and just as you guys dive into this year, training and equipping the new batch. But yeah, thank you for the time. Thank you for your service to Caravan and to the team there. Greatly appreciate it. And of course. Hopefully there's a, a long-term deeper connect between between our youth group here at Northview and, and Caravan Mexico Ministry. Yeah, definitely hope so. Cool.